got a good quote for you today, creatives, and it has a swear word in it. Ooh. Angela Carter, who helped to define our modern concept of magical realism and dark fairy tales, had this to say. Okay, I write overblown, purple, self-indulgent prose. So what? Yes! So what? So what if what you write is overblown or self-indulgent or just a sound that you really like? So what if you draw in colors that are not in fashion right now? So what if you use a style that delights you, even if, well, that's 25 years ago or something ridiculous? So what? If you are not happy with the art that you create because it's not art that you want to create, why would you expect anyone else to be? More than that, why would you expect yourself to be? It is true that we struggle with confidence in our art. It is always very hard to see it clearly because our taste, as I've repeatedly said, is further ahead down the road. So whatever it is that you're making, you want it to be better than it is, sure. But that aside, you can still get to the point where you look at what you made and go, you know what? That's not half bad. And that's only gonna happen if you create stuff you love. Doesn't matter if it's purple prose, overblown, out of fashion, ridiculous, an inaccessible style, whatever nonsense it is they're gonna shout at you. You create what you love. That passion comes through. And with it, you will eventually find people who love the kind of thing that you do. You are not the only human with that taste in the world. You are part of an enormous species and others do share it. That's the reason something existed to inspire you in the first place. Create what you love. Then no matter what happens, no matter how it goes, you will have something that you can at least be proud of. Sit down with me now, my passionate creative, and together, let's make something new.